In the previous video, we looked at two different groups of people where we might collect our data from. So we either had a population, which was all individuals of interest, or we had a sample, which was just a group, um, a group of individuals that were taken from the population. So not all of the population, just some of the population, a section or a group taken from the population. What we're doing in this video is we're looking at two closely related terms. So those are parameter and, uh, and statistic, or we could call them parameters and statistics. And what these do is they each describe their corresponding group. So parameters, they a parameter is a characteristic, oops, characteristic of a population. Whereas a statistic or statistics, these are characteristics of a sample. Okay, so uh, let me uh, just clean this up a little bit. Keep the okay. So, characteristic of a population or statistic is a characteristic of a sample. So, what I mean by this is, when I say a characteristic, is um, when you've when you performed your survey or your study or your research, you're going to get some results, and you'll use those results to describe characteristics of either pop either the population, or if you only had a sample of the sample. Let's say, for example, that um, you took a sample of students from your university and you asked them how old they were. So it's just a sample. Um, maybe 182 people took part in your sample. You recorded their ages. And the average age was equals to, um, I don't know, 21 years old. So this average age, what would you call this 21 years? What would you call the average age? It would be... A statistic because it's a characteristic not of the population but it's a characteristic of a sample of people. Now the same thing could have been done if you had the entire population. Let's say that you work um, in the dean's office or in the registration office. So you actually have access to every single individual's profile uh, that goes to the entire that goes to the university. So you've got uh, tens of thousands of of um, profiles of people that that attend the university. Then you could get it still an average age It won't necessarily be the same number. Let's say that it ends up being a uh, 21.3 years Now what is this value here? What is this average age? Well, because it describes the characteristic of the entire population, it's called a parameter. So an average can be a parameter. An average could be a statistic. What it is, the average age or the average height, or it doesn't even have to be an average. It could be that you've asked people um, which city were they born in. And so the most common answer might be Toronto for the entire population. But in your sample, maybe uh, the city was, um, I don't know, Mississauga. This answer is either a statistic, if it was describing the sample, or this answer is a parameter if it described the population. So parameters give us a characteristic of the population. Statistics give us characteristics of a sample. So that's the basic definition. So why is the course called statistics? And why not parameters? Well, we're interested primarily in parameters. We want to be able to make comments about a population. Let's say, for example, um, there's a drug company that comes out with a new drug. They want to be able to, when they report their results, they would like to be able to say that the amount of time it takes for this drug to cure a disease or for this drug to alleviate symptoms is, on average, five minutes or five hours or something like that. They want to be able to say that that applies to everybody who might ever take the drug, all individuals of interest. But even though parameters and populations are what we, what we would like to work with, we're almost always forced to work with samples. 
And so this course is mainly about how to deal with statistics that describe samples. That's why the course is called statistics. Statistics describe samples. Samples are what we often have to work with because populations are simply too large and too challenging to observe directly. So parameters, just to recap, are characteristics of populations. Statistics are characteristics of samples.